Welcome to today's broadcast. No matter what kind of day you're having, please remember that God is big and God is good. He is bigger and better than you think. Herbert Spencer, a 19th century British philosopher, penned the phrase survival of the fittest in Principles of Biology published in 1864. Charles Darwin popularized the phrase in his writings. The survival of the fittest, as I see it played out here in the United States, assumes anyone who can outwit and outmaneuver another person will survive at that other person's expense. Sadly, this appears to be true for the people who live by the principles of this world, and even more sadly, this appears to be true for the Christians who don't live by kingdom principles. If we knowingly or unknowingly do things man's way, we restrict God to little more than the role of comforter for those times when we fall on our face. This becomes a lifestyle of living by our wits rather than a lifestyle of living by his spirit. And since most of us are not the fittest in the room, we have good reason to live in fear. But as we read in Luke 12, 32, fear not little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Well, what is this kingdom God has given us? This kingdom is associated with supernatural power. To operate within the kingdom of God is to operate contrary to the way man does things. In the kingdom, the resources we need are not where we are, but where we are going. We don't have every material resource in our hands before we begin our journey. We leave where we are, primarily empty-handed, and go where God sends us, knowing the resources will be where we are going. The world says to gather together everything needed ahead of time before setting out to accomplish a task, to the point of needing no faith at all. But the kingdom of God is all about faith, listening for God's instructions and taking only what he tells us, knowing he will provide when we get to the job site. What a different way to live. For more, please visit givemethatmountain.org and have a good day.